What's up, ladies and gents? This is Casey Kid coming at you with another Destiny video. Well, last night, video footage presented itself to me in PvP. So I'm going to go ahead and make this video on how to have a little bit of etiquette and class whenever you're playing PvP. I know that's a stretch sometimes, but this is how to go ahead and do that. If you enjoy this video, go ahead and smack that like button and subscribe to the channel. Now, last night, Celestial, Joker, and I went through the Trials of Osiris. We had a heartbreaking 8-1 card. Very heartbreaking. So after that, I went ahead and took a break. I sat down for a little while off game, came back, and I saw Destiny was still up, and I was on my Warlock. I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and jump into Crucible. It was just Rumble for the daily PvP mission. I was like, okay, I could go ahead and get a Passage Coin. And as you can tell, I'm running with my hard light because I wanted to do something comparing maybe the Monte Carlo and hard light in PvP, so I need to get some footage with it. But what ended up happening kind of exceeded my expectations. Now, you all have seen countless videos from me so far in the past year that I've been doing this, not even a year. And, you know, I like to have fun, and I like to foster a really positive community here. And, by and large, the Destiny community is absolutely amazing. By far, some of the best and nicest gamers that are around. Now, that being said, it's just humans, <laughs> you know, and we're all flawed. And that means that even though there are so many ridiculously awesome people, there are bad eggs in the bunch. There are definitely bad eggs in the bunch. And you happen to see a lot of them in PvP, more so than PvE. And you can probably chalk that up to the fact that if you're running PvE, it's typically with people you are choosing, whereas PvP, you're getting the wide sample, wide random range of people that you get to go against. So you can't really pick and choose who those people are that you're fighting. Now, what ends up happening here, though, is a guy that gets really frustrated with me, and in the middle of the match, he decides to send me a message that says, I reported you, you're trash. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a second. You reported me, and it happens to be this guy. Can't get rocked. Now, if you happen to rewatch this video, which I did before I ended up putting it up here, you can see that some of my very early deaths were all at the hands of this guy, or, you know, because I was fighting this guy and somebody ended up flanking me, something to that effect. And I don't really pay attention to any of that stuff in PvP. I don't pay attention to who is killing me, who's not killing me, who I'm killing, because it really doesn't matter. It really doesn't bother me, especially in something like Crucible. There are absolutely no stakes in Crucible. Nothing. It's not even Iron Banner, and it's definitely not Trials of Osiris. So there are absolutely no stakes here. Now, I mentioned that Celestial Joker and I had a heartbreaking, heartbreaking loss in the Trials of Osiris. Heartbreaking to the fact that it was a 4-4 match on our 8-0 card, and we were down to the final 10 seconds with the capture point. That type of heartbreaking. And what happened after that? Did I swear? Yup, I did. <laughs> did I get frustrated? Yes, at myself, not my teammates, not the people that ended up beating us, nothing. And it was over within 15 seconds. Never felt the urge to do anything else, just chalked it up as a learning experience, as another just bad, heartbreaking type thing that happens in the game, because this is a game. And I think some people forget that. But again, if I can act and get myself together after something like that in Trials of Osiris, somebody in a random daily rumble crucible, I think that you can, if you're getting this upset in daily rumble crucible, you might have some issues that you really need to work out because there are no stakes, even in Trials of Osiris, there are no stakes to your actual life. There are so many other things to get upset and angry about. And sometimes in the heat of the moment, we may need to just try to remember that. Now, right here is the start of everything that's going to go bad for this guy. I didn't know who he was right there, obviously. I'm shooting this rocket down there, and whenever I get the kill, it says, I got the first place kill. That's awesome. Look at me. I've killed maybe one or two people in this entire thing so far. That Nova Bomb out there actually brings me up to a five kill streak. I know, I was just exaggerating just a little bit. And I've got my hard light out, even though I'm kind of switching around, and, you know, now I want to actually do a little bit better. <laughs> I don't want to just be a scrub at the bottom. <laughs> So I'm kind of looking out here, and I see somebody's dropped down here, and I jump up in shotgun, and it's can't get rocked again. Again, no idea. Just kind of went out there and did a little shotgun kill. I mean, that's what we're doing in Rumble. I've got my hard light out here, but he jumps up, and I throw a nice little scatter grenade over there, which is really clutch and kill, because scatter grenades are awesome. 
So that's a real quick three kills on this guy in less than a minute. That was maybe 40 seconds or so. And here he is again. He jumped up here. I've got the hard light out. I'm going to go ahead and throw this scatter grenade out here. And hard light plus scatter grenade equals death for that guy. Four deaths in a row. And he's lost the lead and I'm in the lead. And that must really stink for him. But he's trying once yet again, and he's got his last word out, the most broken gun in the game by far because it's completely five bugged, and he dies again. So that's five kills in roughly a minute. He's taken me from pretty much near the bottom all the way up to the top, and he has dropped from the list. So after his five deaths where he was really, really trying to kill me, I mean, you saw he kept coming up to the same exact spot trying to get the better of me, and he died every time. He sent the message, again, reported you, you're trash. Um, you reported me because you got killed? I don't understand. How does that even register in your brain? And he also happened to be the one who got Nova Bomb there. Again, no idea, wasn't even looking for him, was just looking to get some kills. And I didn't read the message until after the match. I only found this out after. So I was just in the middle and trying to continue playing on with the match because, you know, it's Crucible. I don't know if I have stressed that enough. It's Daily Crucible. <laughs> Daily Crucible this guy's upset about. <laughs> it's just so funny to me. Now, even though we're kind of laughing at this situation, um, this isn't really a thing where anybody needs to go track this guy down and send him ignorant messages and stuff like that. That's not what this is about at all. And that's really not what we do here in this community. It's not about that. It's not about, you know, ragging on somebody and harassing them. No, don't do that. Be the better person. You know, I'm the better person in this match, and you'll see that in just a little bit. Um, but again, that's not how we act, and, you know, just wanted to stress that enough that nobody should go off doing vigilante justice. It's hopefully, hopefully anybody that may possibly stumble across this video and may find themselves acting in a similar manner will just kind of think, oh man, you know what, I shouldn't do that, that's just silly. And, you know, we just all grow and we can have a better Destiny community later on. Again, that's the same guy yet again, and I didn't know. Again, I had no idea. I'm definitely not looking for him or anything like that. He just happens to be there because he's really coming after me, I think. I think. Or at least whenever he gets killed and he sees me in the spot, he's coming after me. And this is him again. And just watch what ends up happening here. So he comes up, and I disagree with missing that shot. That was at the end of Blink. And he does a little half-hearted, sort of teabag-ish thing. And that's whenever I realized, oh, this guy is the one that sent a message. Because <laughs> I was like, wait a second. And watch this. Victory uh, he human. did. <laughs> Come on, that was an awesome scatter grenade. And he died again. And you know he's just sitting behind his controller and steam is blowing out of his ears right now. <laughs> can you imagine? Just can you even imagine? I'm having a match where I'm just joking around with a hard light. And granted, a lot of my kills came with a shotgun. I don't want to put this off like, oh man, I did all these kills with the hard light because I didn't. I did a ton of kills with the shotgun or melee or super or grenade, but I do have a hard light out and I did a little bit of damage with it. I guess the overall point I'm trying to make is this is a game and we play it to maybe escape from some of the struggles of real life because real life is real rough. It involves bills and tragedy and pain and heartbreak and all that kind of awful stuff that we don't want to deal with. And games are something that are supposed to kind of alleviate that from you, kind of take you out of all the struggles of real life. And you're supposed to be here to have fun and enjoy yourself. If you're not enjoying yourself, why are you playing the game? Why are you playing games, period? You know, you shouldn't be doing or playing something that is just going to add more stresses to your life. If you get this upset over something as meaningless as Daily Crucible, rethink your priorities. Rethink your priorities, take a break. Maybe Destiny is just frustrating the crap out of you and you need to just take a break and do something else. But whatever the case may be, whenever you're in here, have fun. And here are the final totals. Can't get rocked, ended up getting rocked 16 times. I think I was responsible for at least half of those. And I was up there on top. Sorry, guy. Not too bad for trash, though, I guess. <laughs> so anyway, guys and gals, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smack that like button. Subscribe to the channel to keep updated on daily Destiny content. Check out these awesome videos. Good luck with your raids, your drops, your PvP. And I'll see you around in Destiny. Calm down, guy.